Hi everyone, I'm Nick from Pixie Woo and today I'm going to show you how you can get your makeup like Rita Ora. I hope you enjoy. To start off with, I'm going to use a foundation that has a matte finish but quite a good coverage. I've chosen Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Expert face brush and just buff that into moisturised skin. Now the reason I've chosen this foundation is because it photographs beautifully. So I love this and celebrities absolutely love it as well. I've also chosen to use it with a brush that you kind of buff into the skin. That means it's going to work right into the skin and almost make it look like it's part of your skin rather than a laying on top of it. I'm then going to go in with a little bit of Clarence Instant Concealer in any areas that might need a little bit more coverage. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and just run that under the eyes where I'm a little bit dark, a little bit around my nose and just circular motions, buff that into the skin. I'm then going to move straight onto the eyes before I powder the skin into place. And I'm going to take this Kiko eyeshadow. This one is called 03 Supreme and it's a cream eyeshadow. I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques base shadow brush and just work it into the eye. Best to start in the middle of the eye and then blend outwards with these products because they're cream. You want it slightly softer on the outside. And obviously wherever you place your brush first is going to have the maximum amount of coverage. I want to wing that out slightly for Rita. You're also going to find when using a cream product a synthetic brush is best to use. For one that it cleans up much nicer and two, it just helps your product to move a little bit better around the eye. I'm then going to take a slightly smaller accent brush and the same product and just work that under the eye. You're going to wing that right the way up to meet the other eyeshadow. And then take your brush that you were using before and just soften that. I'm then going to take a little bit of black liner. This one is Urban Decay 24-7 in Provision. And I'm just going to run that along the top lash line. Go back in with my accent brush and then work that over it and it's just going to soften that. So just apply and then blend. And then I'm going to take some Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and apply that both to top and bottom lashes. I'm then going to move on to the brows. Now Rita likes her brows to be quite dark, so I've got an Anastasia brow pencil in brunette. I'm just going to colour my brows in with that. She manages to be able to carry off the really blonde hair with the dark brows really, really well. I really like a brow brush that has a spoolie on the end so I can brush it through. I then need to add a little bit of sculpting to my cheeks and I've got a Becca Lightweight Sculpting Cream. I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques foundation brush and I'm just going to draw in where I want the shape. An angled brush like this just helps a little bit to get the exact line of the cheekbone. And just by turning the brush round and pulling upwards you're just going to get a nice little bit of shading there. Sometimes cream products are a much easier way of getting a softer kind of contour. I'm also going to take that through my jawbone a little bit. It's just going to make my jawbone a tiny bit sharper. Then for the lip. Now this is the important bit. I've got a MAC lip liner in brick. I'm going to colour three quarters of the lip in with this. I'm going to do the lip line first. And you can probably see I'm also going up and round with the lip line. That's going to open the lip out so much more and make them look bigger. And with red, red lipstick, you want to make your lips look bigger. Now 
Now Rita's red lip is all about colouring and shading so I'm going to take my brick lip liner and just colour in this corner of my lip on both sides and the bottom bit. And then I'm going to take a lip liner that's a couple of shades lighter and just colour in the rest. It's going to make my lips have a bit of depth and look much fuller. I'm then going to take a very orangey tone red lipstick. This one's by Estee Lauder and it's called Carnal. And I'm just going to colour in the very centre of my lip. Just to add a bit of moisture and make those lips pop even more. And lastly for some lashes, I've got these Eldora lashes and these ones are in M102. Just going to pop a small amount of glue on the lashes, look down. Allow the glue to dry for about 15, 20 seconds. Place them in the middle of the lash of the eye and then tuck the other two sides in. The harder the stem of the lash is, the longer you may have to wait for the glue to dry a bit. I'm then going to take a lightweight powder and just powder that all into place. And there you have the finished Rita Aura look. I hope you've enjoyed it guys. Have a lovely day, evening. Have fun trying it. I'll see you next time. Bye.